Stinky looks like we're live. Oh, are we live? Yeah. Oh, man. Hey, everybody, and welcome to Skullgirls Get Late. Um, let's make sure. Okay, so here's the thing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna clap my hands. Real talk with you, stream. One, I'm the real Craig. <laughs> uh, okay. All right. Crank's not here, but he will be maybe, depending on traffic. Um. So that's the thing. In the meantime, you have me, the real crank, the real squiggly main. I've never lost a game on squiggly. I've never played a game on squiggly, but I've never lost. Well, I've um, never played a game on squiggly. Technically, means you've never lost. The intro's still going, so. <laughs> <laughs> not an intro so here's so here's here's the real talk with you, stream. My OBS has a few issues with it, <laughs> and th those few issues cause some very interesting volume changes <laughs> so on my end right now in my ear holes phones same thing the stream like the the music for sg and sam and abby's quiet whatever <laughs> they're all about the same volume i i need somebody to confirm or deny because i can't this doesn't work <laughs> Other than that, welcome to Skullgirls Get Great, where we um, shove people into uh, matches and then tell them what they're doing wrong. <laughs> today, this week, today, this week, we're going to do five flat matches between the people that have signed up, um, plus a few extra that we're shoving in there. Um, just just stalling for time while somebody tells me volume levels are decent or not. That's kind of what's happening here. Well, I I, I don't know what the volume levels are like because we've hardly ever talked. The game's a little bit low, so it is. Alright, I can I turn that up. Okay, yet. well, now that you've talked, check it. <laughs> <laughs> and if you didn't catch it, say something really dumb and then mute and then check. Just completely out of context. And then I'll turn that into my followers end. He's muted. Yeah. Okay. Alright. Alright, what's it looking like? I need, I need to be turned up just slightly. You need to be I turned up see. slightly. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually like, I actually can hear myself this okay. time. You're clipping like, really bad on my end, but I'll deal with it. I need, to turn, I need to turn up, be turned up slightly. Okay, I did it. Um, the game was fine so far. Alright. Uh, I did. But okay. that was the last time you said it. So, uh, yeah. Avi, are you commentating this week or are you just chilling? Uh, I can't comment. I mean, so here's the problem, right? Crank's supposedly going to be here in an hour to an hour and a half. And then we're going to do have a four-man casting crew. <laughs> which is a lot of casting. Oh, well, I mean, I can just chill. Alright. Literally, Abby is, like, non-existent. Abby's non-existent? He's literally 200%! I can't change it! <laughs> right, so you know what That's the best you're getting. That's the best you're getting. <laughs> Question, question, what's your, what does the volume mixer for Discord for you like, if any? Uh, let's find out. But the problem is, is that you're fine. Uh, am I fine on your end? I'm at 27. You're, you're fine on my end. It's, it's a case of, the, it's OBS or something. 27% on the OBS. Uh, on um, Discord, not on OBS, silly so goose. What I so what I think is happening, Penny, is you've got Discord turned way down, so OBS is picking up that volume, rather than, like, our volume to you. What? I don't know how to. What does it. that even mean? So I think it's picking up the volume mixer version of our voices. That should be the version that I'm hearing, though. I know. <laughs> that shouldn't. Okay, Abby's a ghost. I don't know what Sam's saying, so Abby's a ghost. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> okay, okay. Skullgirls get great. So here's the thing. First things first, what you're, everyone here is going to do, if you're signed up, if you're playing, you're going to go to Steam, you're going to go to the group chat, and you're going to join it. I haven't done that yet, but I'm doing it right now. I've done it. So make sure you're in the group chat. There's only three people in here, including me. Um, I'm going to go do that right now. Once you're in the group chat, what we're going to do is we're going to call up two people, and then we're going to have them fight five matches, and then we're going to tell them what's going on with that. And that's the whole stream. Yeah. <laughs> Um, first match. What's going on here? There's a few people. In, I gotta make notes. What? Hi. I, I got quieter. <laughs> I turned you up. I got quieter. I put the volume up by like thirty percent. Excuse me. 
I got quieter, yeah. How the heck? Okay, you're 200% now. I don't care. If you can't hear yourself now, I'm going to throw my computer across the room. <laughs> okay, well, give give me give me a moment, then I'm gonna I'm gonna talk. Hello, my name is Sam. I'm gonna test my voice. Faceco says he can't hear the game either. You can't hear the game. All right. Because your audio, desktop audio is so. Okay, the game I can understand because it's running at like thirteen percent. Because I keep my game really quiet. I can hear Sam peeking all the heck, but I can barely hear his voice. I can't. What is my OBS? In life, Can, are you hearable now? I don't have your desktop audio. And <laughs> okay, hold on. I apologize to everybody listening. About everybody, I mean me, because it's the only one that works apparently. Say words real quick. Hello, my oh, name is. Oh Jesus! <laughs> Hello, my name is Abby. All right, how about now? I don't need ears anyway. I'm oh. Okay, is it is it good? You can hear two people talking still quiet. Heck, I don't need ears anyway. Let's turn them up more. Oh boy. Say words. Hello. I am Abby. Hello. Sam like mumbled. Sam, come say some real words. Give me a speech. All right. Okay. Right. At the age of eleven. That's good enough. All right. <laughs> I'm definitely louder, like, I'm hearable now. Oh like, yeah, you're definitely like, louder. I've got to take my headphones off. But I'm peaking slightly. <laughs> I mean, that's on your end. You're peaking always. Hold on a second. Let, let me let me actually have, like, a look at my own audio settings. Your levels are probably freaking high. I can turn Discord up not much. Okay, Discord the loudest it can possibly go. I literally cannot turn it up more. Abby, say some more. Are you sure? Okay, um, I can say some more. Hello. All right. Are you sure it's not um, OBS that's causing the issue? Yeah, I checked. It's desktop audio is turned all the way up. All right. Um, I, I, I want you to know exactly how my setup's going right now. My headphones are behind me on my chair, and I can still hear every word you're saying. <laughs> okay, what does this sound like? You are so... You gotta go back up. Oh. There's no way you're hearable yeah. anymore. Hold on a second. Okay, let me check OBS real quick. Maybe it's oh kind of setting. Yeah, it's fine. Just put your levels back to where they were, Sam, and we'll just go with it. Heck it. I don't care. You think this is a professional stream? This is an anime game. I think you need to reinstall your OBS. Then. I think I don't even think that fixes it, because I've already done that. Oh, okay. What about now? I mean, I can hear you. I think we're good. Okay, what about now? Now you're just mumbling. Ah! There you go. <laughs> what the f People oh. sound good, now this can work. Alright, we're going with it then, because I can't be bothered to mess with it anymore. We're freaking 20 minutes late already. Alright. Alright. Welcome to Skullgirls Get Great. <laughs> Where, I already, I've done this speech like four times, let's just get some people in here. Um, first match on stream, latency versus open slash lecture, um, 20 minutes late is still early. It's not called B Skullgirls Be Late and for nothing. Okay, so latency, if you're here, hopefully you're here because it's your turn, um, join up either me or Sam from the group chat, and then it's up to you whether you'd like an open lobby of someone of equal skill or if you want to fight me and have like a luxury session. That's up to you. There's the lobby link. Oh, I could probably make one of those, couldn't I? Normally we use group chat, I think. I haven't actually done Get Great in a minute, but there's a link for it. We have used the Steam lobby thing. Shows you how long I've been here. Mars Smash, can I get in? Probably not this match, because you have a lot of hours. 
But I will put you in, for sure. Um. Hello. Hi. Hi. My uh, my audio turned off. My whole mic just turned off. Did you mute it? No. Um, I think I was messing with the levels, and I think it stopped working. All Discord. Right. So Heck, I'm doing a lecture thing. You're fighting me. <laughs> I'll still get you in, Mars. Oh my god, my hair is in my headset. Send help. <laughs> Poor I? I did. It hurt. So probably due to my mic levels, I'll keep myself muted in case there's random noise that just appears, you know, like dogs. <laughs> that would suck. It would. So I'm going to keep myself muted until I need to talk. Okay, so immediately, um, I don't know how many parasols you fought, but you definitely want to be wary of my spacing. This is hard to deal with. There you go. Nope, oh, I hacked that up. Oops. Oops. That's not like punch. Yeah, that's not something you can do against Eliza. You definitely want to be wary of what options people have to get around zoning. And play around them. If you didn't know while she's in the boat, she has a uh, projectile armor. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh, that's not a thing you want to do. So, um... H-Brass is a button that is armored and really big. But it is super not safe on block. Um, and it's definitely not something you want to throw out. The only times you ever really want to throw out <coughs> h brass and neutral is if you have an assist to back it up. Um, not a lot of assists can actually keep that safe. A few that come to mind are H-Bomber, L-George, depending on how you space it. Maybe H-Beam? I don't know. <laughs> I kind of doubt it, but maybe. Um, you definitely want to make sure you can keep it safe if you're going to throw it out. It's not a thing you want to just do. Um, I'm going to do one of these moves. So spooky. Okay. Trade. Oh. I, I don't know if you have stream muted or not, but that's. I don't know, I'm gonna say it again. It's definitely not something you want to be throwing out. I'm gonna try this. Definitely want to watch where you're getting hit from. There you go. Yeah, a lot of stuff in this game um, doesn't look like it hits where it does. That's pretty common across a lot of really, really gross mix-ups. Um, so you definitely want to watch less what it looks like you're being hit by, and more where your block is wrong, if that makes sense. So like, if you were blocking that same side and you still got hit, you just have to assume it's cross-up. Especially if you play banned. That's just a thing. Because banned gets freaking crossed up and overheaded by freaking everything in this game. It's because he's a big boy. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> One of these moves. Nice. 
I am also seeing a lot of jumps on defense. Jumps on defense are pretty cool, but you want to be sure you don't just get load for a million years. I like the F board. Not a lot of people use that yet. Oh, I misplaced it. I want to be wary of assist calls as well, because this is pretty common if you call brass a lot while one character is hurt. Big Man. Why was that? What? Go ahead. Go ahead. And I was saying, why was that like not comboing though? Um, because crouch light kick doesn't combo from launcher, or stand light punch doesn't combo from launcher. I thought when they landed on the ground though, they like. No, they fell out of hit stun in the air. Ah, okay. The mid screen is the same as the corner. There's corner ones that are more optimal than that. It's just easy. Um, the corner one I use isn't that. It's like sweep, HDP, IAD, heavy kick, repeat. Mm. It does a lot more damage than when you're using multi hit mediums. You were going um, to say so. but yeah, I was gonna say you want to be careful watching uh, calling assist. Um, if Robo's hurt and you call band, band's gonna die like that. If band's hurt and you call band, he's still gonna die because he's really really easy to hit. Fuzzies. So up forwarding is really strong, but not when you overuse it. Um, a lot of times when you're robo, there are a lot of situations where you're just going to have to block. And not blocking is going to like... You know, I can, I can hit you with a million things if you're up forwarding. It beats lows, but it loses to, like, a lot of other things. That's not a thing you want to do. I'm going to do this again. Oops. There, too, you kind of want to judge risk versus reward on what you're doing. So, like, if the H brass into SSJ hits, I lose... Probably about half my health, maybe more, um, but Eliza's definitely still alive. Whereas if the h press and SSJ is blocked or whiffs, then you just lose the game, like straight up. So that's not really a thing you want to be using when the risk is so much higher than the reward is. Definitely something you want to judge. Um, a lot of band neutral, instead of using h press, um, things like... Symbols are really, really, really strong. Um, E-break is something you can look into. It's kind of hard to do at first, though. Um, even just dash blocking is really strong. And just not committal at all. Hey, Clawmaster, what's up? And I'm not sure how familiar you are with the Eliza matchup, but um, definitely want to be careful on where you're pushing buttons. Oops. Nice. And this is just kind of SG in, <laughs> in a nutshell. You just kind of have to eat the mix-ups. Does Ransar H-Cut beat Dashback? Yes. Um, yeah, that's so that, that there was kind of Skullgirls. Um, I probably shouldn't have Vortex so hard, but... That was just kind of Skullgirls. It wasn't yeah. actually Skullgirls. It, it's it's a little bit of Skullgirls, yeah. A little it's, bit of um, Skullgirls. Yeah, a lot of that you just gotta hold. Uh, especially if you're playing a team like Band Robo. Um, defense is something you need to get really, really good at. Because Robo has actually no reversal options. Um, and Big Band is kind of known as the character that tries to reverse a lot of everything, so everybody's baiting it. Um, so those two... And especially because he's so big and he gets opened up by everything under the sun. Um... Your team definitely lacks in defense, which isn't a bad thing at all. 
Um, they're like uh, Sage's team also likes some defense. Um, but he constructed his team so that if he hits you when he mashes because he decided not to block, you just die, like, on the spot. <laughs> um, so it, it's not a bad thing at all. But it doesn't mean that uh, blocking is something you're going to have to work on. Um, other than that, to reiterate things, uh, definitely want to work on what you're doing with band. Um, H-Brass is spooky and neutral. And it's really kind of only a combo tool-ish. Um, E-Break and Symbols are really, really strong. Dash blocking is strong. Those are things you might want to do instead. Um, the Robo Zoning was good. It's something you definitely have to think about, though. It's not so much like Peacock, where Peacock can just kind of throw things on the screen and then do it forever, and they kind of have to just get around it or they die. Um, Robo is a lot more, like, deliberate zoning. So you have to really respect what the other person's doing and only beam to try to beat what they're doing. Um, Robo is kind of more about the threat of zoning than she is actually zoning, as weird as that sounds. Sam's left. <laughs> no, I'm, yeah, I'm coming back, don't worry. Um... Yeah, so if if that makes sense, if it doesn't, DM me. I've played a lot of Robo. Um, I can help you out. I have a lot of Robo resources. Um, but, yeah, that's that's some stuff. Um, against Eliza in particular, because that round start hit you every time I did it, um, you kind of just have to block it. There's a few things you can do to beat it straight up. If you just jump forward, if you think Eliza's going to DP, this goes for everyone, because HDP works too often against people at round start. Um... It's really strong because if you do anything at round start that's like a button, you're you're gonna get hit. If you backdash, you're gonna get hit. Um, it's kind of nutty. On if it hits an assist, she just gets to jump cancel it, so you can't even bait it with assist. Um, on block, it's kind of at a weird distance where it's hard to punish. So I can see why people have trouble with it. Um, the biggest downfall of DP is that if it whiffs, it's disgustingly bad. So what you kind of want to do is just jump forward at her if you think she's going to do that. Um, and it's an angle that's kind of hard for her to punish. Um, so the ideal round start against Eliza is if you think she's going to DP, jump forward. If it whiffs, you get a full punish forever because she's just stuck in with punish animation. Um, some Elizas will try to read that and do Horus instead because that's really the only thing that covers that angle. Um, you can block immediately after you up forward and you'll land cancel a Horus and then you can punish her there. That's kind of advanced, but something to keep in mind if you know what that means. <laughs> I, I kind of went off on a tangent there, but you know. <laughs> um, next, match up next match on stream. Real Robot versus Kesark. Kesark? If it was Kassark? Kassark, Kassark look. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't got to talk Skullgirls in forever. I'm excited to talk about things today. <laughs> Empty jump at Eliza and blocking wake up DP. Yeah, you're right. I've only ever seen one Eliza that consistently wakes up DP, and I yell at him for it every time. You know who you are. Draco! <laughs> would, uh, would Big Ban be a way better character if he wasn't the big boy? Like, if he still had all of his moves, but he wasn't, had, like, a huge hitbox? Nah. Huge hurtbox? Nah. Because, nah. like, it's easier to open up Big Band. If, if you're talking about at an intermediate level, he would be a lot better. Um, if you're talking about a beginner level, nobody does fuzzy, so it doesn't matter. And mm. if you're talking about the advanced professional level, um, no. Because blocking anything is a death sentence. <laughs> so it doesn't yeah. matter how big you are. <laughs> There, that's what I think. Like, um, what do you call parcels? Like little sister, umbrella. Yeah, yeah. I think that's what she was meant to be. Because like her umbrella was mostly what her moves were based around, and hers hers was like a demon possessed umbrella. Yeah. <laughs> that had like massive normals and stuff. She looked like a Unio character. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Okay, speaking of Unio characters, while we're waiting for Kasar Kasark to get in here, um. <laughs> I'll give you a few minutes and then DM me on Discord because I don't know if you're actually here. Um, <clears throat> Unio characters dashes freak me the heck out. Holy, heck. they're weird. Like, like every other character in that game, if you air dash, they go straight. Unio characters kind of go up and then down, <laughs> and it's really strange. It makes them very hard to anti air just because the angle is like so it. different. Um, it makes Carmine's mid screen Noki disgusting because of the angle. 
But I need to play more Carmine. I'll probably go off on Carmine tonight and I make Crank play it. I don't want to fight against Jetta. I do. <laughs> <laughs> I don't it's Jetta with against... Crazy Dance that yeah. gives me glyphs that up. It feels good. I don't want to. I don't want to play against um, if Jetta and uh, Jetta and Dante, and Dante are one be... character. At, what my team is is Jetta and Dante on one character, and then the other one's Parasol. <laughs> that just sounds like your, your freaking best time. Your team is disgusting. Penny, pass me two dollars on Steam for all the DLC. Uh, I would, but I'm kind of cash strapped right now. I'm not gonna say I haven't. That, there are definitely people that when they're like, there have been people in the stream that are like, "Man, I want to play Robo, but I don't have the DLC," and then they just freaking buy him Robo. <laughs> I've done that a few times. Because I like Robo. More people need to play Robo. Um, I'm gonna DM Kesark. Kesark. He's definitely he's definitely online because he was talking earlier. Yeah. He was. Da da. Kesark. Kersar? Kes... Is that right? I don't know. Is this the right person? I don't know. I'm gonna pretend like it is. If not, maybe we'll throw in Real Robot vs. Mars. Who I totally thought was a different Mars. <laughs> Wait, which one's Mars? What? We were talking about this before the stream. No, but I mean, which one's Mars, like, on the... The... Matchups? They're not. Yeah. <clears throat> They're kind of a last-minute sign-up. Alright. Mars is back? This is a different Mars. This isn't the Zen Boy Mars. Um... Good Mars, the bad Mars. No. Oh. Casark. Cas so Casark is different than Casark. Casark. No, there's no Casark. But there's Casark. It's like a pair up with someone, but got no confirmation. Okay, well, no, this is right. This is right. This is right. Okay. Alright. Whatever. Okay. We're in there. Alright. Yeah, okay. figure it out. Alright. Okay. Alright. Okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. Dying. Don't die. Too it's late. Not good for your health. Very good for my health. It's very bad for your health, actually. That's what you think. That's exactly what I know. <laughs> I can probably put my stick down there. All right, solo peacock versus Philia Bella. Okay, we got. Uh, first thing I'm gonna say right off the back, H bang is um, not very good. H bang is good when you start staggering it and like get when you get. Don't use it till you like know what it's for. I guess I don't want to go into it right now because what it's for is for like really higher level stuff. Um, but in terms of actually just zoning, keep thinking about. It's not a move you want to use because it's got a ton of... You're not putting more things on the screen, really. And it's got a ton of, um... With frames. I don't know what the term is. I forgot. Um... Got any recommendations assist for Parasol? I will go off on that in a second. <laughs> um... <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> other things I'm seeing right now. I like how Kessark's using the Crouch Light Kick to anti Philia. Crouch Light Kick is a really, really good button. Really underrated. Um... Alright. Definitely want to work on our confirms a little bit. Definitely on bo both players. Um, Real Robot, you definitely don't want to be... I can see your Bella habits coming through on your Philia, because you're doing heavies and a grab. Heavies are not something you ever want to do on block, ever. Really. Um, oof. oof. With uh, Bella, it's not the worst thing in the world, because you can frame trap into a grab, even though you don't want to really be doing that either. Um, I like the lights. But on Philly, you definitely don't want to be doing it on block. Um, yeah, Parasol is freaking godlike. Any recommendations assist for Parasol? If you're talking about the Parasol assist, L-Shot is the, one of the best assists in the game, don't at me. Um, 
I'm a little bit biased, but I, I do think it's one of the best assists in the game. If you're talking about assists to go with Parasol, um, L-Bomber is godlike, Butcher's Blade is godlike. That's the team I play. Um, what else is good? If you want, like, setup assists, M-Pinion is really good. Uh, Stand Hard Punch on Peacock is crazy good. Um, H-Brass gives you tons of damage. I like Parasol. But L-Tier is a godlike assist if you're talking about that. I can start standing hard on. That's a that's a me move. <laughs> yeah. Okay. There's the H bang. Yeah, look how much time she has just to walk up because she blocked the H bang. Both players seem to have trouble like actually like hitting the other person. Yeah, the confirms are a bit wonky. Definitely want to clean those up a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to talk about this. <clears throat> this is technically beginner, so I shouldn't yet, but I'm doing it anyway. Um, doing a full combo sucks really bad in this game. <laughs> the only time you ever do a full combo is either A, you're doing an otg list combo for hard knockdown. If you don't know what that means, don't worry about it. Um, or B, if the combo is going to kill. Um, otherwise, really what you want to do is end the combo early so that you can do a mix-up and start a new combo. Um... Especially if you're playing a character like Philia, who's really the only thing she's got is mix-ups, and her mix-ups are disgusting. Um, so you definitely want to look into some Philia resets, instead of finishing out that combo. Yeah, the normal zoning pattern is um, stand hard punch, plain George, and then one of the other two Georges, and then stand hard punch item drop, and then you loop that forever. Um, Nice. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> there are a few cases where you don't want to do that. Like, I am more of the opinion that Peacock is kind of a hit and run character more than a zoner. Because if you're only zoning, you're only using half of her tools. Peacock has the highest damage output in the game. It's not Big Ben, fun facts. Um, so I usually end up holding an M item and then just rushing down a little bit and then going back to zoning and then, you know, one of those moves. But if you're just trying to zone, that's the pattern. Man, I love talking about Skullgirls. Heck me. <laughs> Alright, if you want to keep Philia out, um, you don't want her to run in on you. I see you doing ADC JLK, which is alright, because you're hitting her. But the hitbox kind of sucks on it, and you don't get much off of it, it hits. Um, another thing you can do instead is ADC Jump Heavy Kick, which puts the bird on the screen. If she tries to hit you, and she does hit you, the bird kind of acts as like a combo breaker thingy and she'll get hit and you get a full combo. Um, it also lasts long enough that you can start setting up an item drop or projectiles or something. It, it's a lot... It, it's really good for what you're trying to do. Yeah, as if you played the game a lot. It's as if you played the game a lot. Yeah, you right. Not recently, I've been playing cross tag for a million years. I... how many hours do you have in cross tag right now? Alright, let's check. 51. That's a lot of hours compared to your Skullgirls. I mean, how many do I even have in Skullgirls? That's 1,500. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Oh, it feels bad. I mean, the sad part is, people are going to hear that and be like, oh man, it's a lot of Skullgirls hours. It's about a sixth of my TF2 hours. Alright, we got a bit of a scramble. Uh, okay, so you're, you're doing the thing that I do a lot, which is you use each bat, uh, heavy jump frat. What do you call that button? The jump shotgun. Heavy punch? Yeah, jump heavy punch. You did punch, it, I'm proud you. of you. Yeah, you do the jump heavy <laughs> punch a lot to like get out, and I do that a lot, but they can just walk up while you're doing that, so you're not really getting any distance. Yeah, my the way you want to get out, if you want to move backwards and set up a wall, you do jump heavy kick, air dash back, jump heavy punch. Is a really, really good way to do that. Um, because you set up the heavy kick wall, and then you still get the heavy punch to get out, but they can't just walk at you because they have to block the bird. JHP, ADC, JHP is not very good either, because there's just nothing on the screen. Like, it gets you out, but it doesn't stop them from getting in. So usually what happens is you just end up walking yourself into the corner. And as soon as Peacock's in the corner, she's dead. Like, there's not really too much to that.
I've only ever seen like one player make peacock like at melee range look really good. <laughs> Is that psychopath? Yeah. Eh. Eh. Eh yourself. Eh. Psychopath had a lot of not real pressure that people thought was real. Peck's Peacock is... Peck and Swift Fox are the two Peacocks that I would tell people to go look at. Psychopath is cool because it gets road rollers all the heckin' time. Like, Psychopath looks at RNG and he's like, wait, what do you mean? It's That's a 100% chance. What are you talking about, RNG? Is this for? Road roller. <laughs> Just RNG doesn't exist for him. <laughs> So one thing you might want to look at, Robot, um, you can see Kessark is pushing a lot of buttons out of your resets. Um, you're also doing tin, so this goes for both players, I guess. Um, if you see the other person pushing a lot of buttons out of the resets, burst baits are godlike. Heck, I love burst baits. Burst baits are so underused. Go learn some burst baits. <laughs> win. Yeah, Swift Fox execution is disgusting. I think Peck's my favorite to watch, though. Peck's team is so unique. I love watching Peck. I also got to play solo parasol mirrors with him in the tournament. That was fun. <laughs> Alright, last match. <laughs> yeah, you're just pushing buttons out of resets. Really want to look into a, either a burst bait or doing a restand reset, so that he can't just push buttons out of it. That's not a button you want to be pushing. That's that's not a button you want to be pushing. Oop, missed the dash. I guess I've seen that a semblance of like a, a combo, but it's not fully clean yet. What if that Ram Start Stand Hard Punch is attempting an up back stand hard punch with buttons too early? It's possible. I mean, Ram Start Stand Hard Punch is. Robot hasn't shown that he's willing to round start aggressively yet. He's playing really passive. So Philia can't act. Hey, that was nice. Um, that was really nice. Yeah, it was cool. Um, Philia can't do anything about it if she's not willing to be aggressive. She just kind of has to hold it and then Kessar gets pressure for free. Um, which is why I haven't really brought it up again because without Robot showing... Uh, Robot, the way you beat it is by ADCing in or jumping in. That's... Oh, alright. <laughs> um, but yeah, if you're not willing to do that, he just gets to stand hard punch for free. Robot only got caught by that because he was pressing the button. Yeah, that's... that's pushing a lot of buttons. Another question, what is the best assist Beowulf can use? Uh, Bale's best assist is H chair. Um, beat extend. He doesn't have beat extend. Some people <laughs> run uh, crouch hard punch assist. There are a few gimmicky things you can do with it. I've come up with a few gimmicky squiggly things with it. It's kind of funny, but if you're playing like a real team with Bale, you're running H chair, and that's that's kind of just what you run. Rabble runs L chair, but I still don't think it's as good as H chair. It's kind of gimmicky. Um, okay. Frosty, uh... Is it's it... fair enough. Yeah, we're actually not doing that. Why not? We're skipping that. And the reason we're skipping that is because Mars wants to play. And then we're going to go to that one. Uh, who does Mars want to play against? It's an open lobby. I will fight him. But he's a beginner. I will fight him. If you see you, you can fight him. <laughs> okay. Uh, no, friends, no! Friends! Friends! Just kick them, just kick them. Friends, not yet. Okay, yeah, you're right. <laughs> okay, yeah, we got it, we got it, we got it. Okay, thanks, friends. Wait. <laughs> uh, what's the benefits of L versus H? H is a DP and a good combo tool. L is a mix-up and a low, and that's about it. Yeah, L hits low. Yeah, slide is low. It's also slide on point, not just as an assist. Um... It's interesting. But yeah, let's get Mars in here. 
If you're running just Beowulf Bella, you can run Excella Bella. You get taunt setups from it. You don't have another assist though, which is kind of eh. You could also run like Lock and Load or Copter. I don't know what he gets off Copter. I'd do Lock and Load or Excella probably. Man doesn't need a DP, so I can understand everything. I mean, I would say more that Ban needs a DP. Because if Ban does a DP, he's just going to die. But if you have a DP assist that's also plus, he just gets to push whatever buttons he wants. Plus it's really... You can do double h brass starters with um, chair assist, which is so much damage. Uh, open lobby. The heck is Mars's icon that looks so familiar? I don't know, it's not loaded for me. Looks like a Yu-Gi-Oh card of some description. I could, I don't think it is, but I could see it being one, <laughs> just by the art. Oh yeah, Mars. If you have the stream on, pause it for now and then watch the vod. Band needs a DP. Then every character needs a DP. Uh, DP. Um, I don't know who this is. It's Orbital Beef. All right, we'll go with it. <laughs> 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 I mean, I don't know what else to tell you. Yeah, sure, heck it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go for it. Um, I think Ben needs it more than other people because he can be fuzzy for days. So Ben, like, while characters don't ever want to block, Ben really never wants to block. I use L-Chair because you can get some sick mix-ups with Bella L-Chair. Will I be made to join the stream voice chat when I'm up? Nope. Am I able to? Probably not. Wait, what is this? Sinoon in chat. Mm, I'm um, not part of the chat yet. <laughs> not that chat. The Discord chat. Ah. Okay, we got Bella Val versus Peacock Double. I hope it's Ace Bomber. Alright, things are happening. Things are happening. Alright, things are happening. Okay. Okay, we got Zoe. Scramble's over. Okay, we gotta get through this. Um, Valentine actually is one of the best Peacock matchups in the game. Um, because if you do TK Bypass, she actually dead zones all the zoning, and she's just in. Um, so that's a thing you might want to look into doing. Can't do it with this guy up, probably. Just gotta hold this. Alright. Um... Can somebody find the World Gem video and link it? The how to deal with Peacock Zoning? Throw. Normally you don't want to do like default throw, because she has two command throws that are really strong, but if you want to keep corner, it's not bad. Probably not how you want to do that route, but it works. It was OTG. Ooh, wake up Rotek, the double! Barrel loops. We got a lot of jump and hard punch. Jump and hard punch is really strong because it hits three times. It's got good range. Um, it's not something you really want to throw out this often. Um, mostly because A, you can lane cancel it. B, um, you can air to air it because it's kind of slow on startup. Um, obviously, Mars isn't doing any of that. That's an interesting decision on both ends. <laughs> I don't know if you reacted to the Excella Bell at level 3, but you normally don't want to frame trap level 3. You also don't normally want to Excella Bell as a reversal. I was saying things, I don't remember what it was. Yeah, so, um, Orbital Leaf probably don't want to be doing Jump and Hard Punch so much. Um, I'm saying that very lightly because Mars wasn't doing anything about it, so you can just kind of keep doing it here, but later on that will become a bad habit. Um, as for Mars, the way you beat that is by doing uh, an air-to-air, -air, which is jump forward with a light and beat it during startup frames. Um, you can land cancel it, which is you jump at it, block it in the air, and then land before double. Um, that's not usually a thing you can do because doubles can fast fall, but if they're not fast falling, it's something you can do. Um, you can probably just air grab it if you want to. Um, yeah, just a few ways to get around that. A lot of doubles will throw that out. Don't make the mistake I do, where if it works one time, it works forever. It's not a good thought process. Yeah. Okay, still looking for the bypasses. That was good. That's, that's, nice. that's not something you want to do block, though. Alright, I 
you're you're not going to be able to zone out of Peacock. Um, the reason Val zoning so good is because it hits a dead zone for a lot of characters. Um, the only two characters that can really challenge that dead zone are Parasol and Peacock. Um, you can kind of get around Parasols a little bit. Peacock can just item drop you from wherever though, so it's not a thing you can really contest. Another thing I want to bring up, that Argus on block is never... You never want to Argus on block because there's that giant gap. Um, so if you're playing Val and you find yourself blocking an Argus with no item to back it up, um, during the dead the gap, you can jump, bypass, and then scalpel super, and you'll go over the Argus and hit her for a combo. A lot of people have answers to that. Like, even Cerebella has an answer to it. Every character yeah, has a way out. After the beam, you can reflect the... Uh... One of the Argus shots back. Yeah, um, every character has a way around it. Not every character gets a full combo off of it, but everybody has an answer to it. How late are you? Um, I'm gonna go with not at all because no one's been missing yet. <laughs> uh, Big Band can just parry the Argus shots. Uh, there's another way to do it too, but <laughs> everybody hex up the parry. Yeah, you can just um, super jump, double jump, and then Timpani for a combo. Really? It's a lot more consistent that. than parrying, because freaking everybody hacks up the parrying. <laughs> I swear <laughs> everybody parrying. tries to parry and gets smacked in the face. The, the parrying is the cool way to do it. Yeah, the parrying's more damage too, because you get a heavy counter hit, but it's harder. Yeah, you really get up to just TK bypass through all the peacock stuff. Still the cool way to do it, Bobbert. One thing you also might want to look into Mars is something called dash blocking. Um, because I see a lot of the ways you're getting hit is just uh, trying to dash forward and getting smacked in the face. Um, I mean, that's one way to do it, I guess. But if you, uh, <laughs> if you dash forward with two punches and then block immediately after you push your two punches. You'll do your dash animation, but you'll actually be blocking the entire time. So you'll block any projectiles. That was weird. If you parry the first part, the super continues. I'm pretty sure it even continues on with. Oh, all right. Make up grab, fair enough. <laughs> What's this mini Sam? <laughs> <laughs> mini Sam. <laughs> now I'm pretty sure Argus just always goes. I don't think there's anything. I think the only way it stops is if she gets hit. Did you ever see that, um, I think you showed me it, Penny, but I'm not too sure, um, the video of, uh, the, uh, Peacock did the Argus, and then the random part, the second part, it was just a full, like, beam yeah. across the top. That was on Twitter a while ago. <laughs> it's pretty great. It, it, every single shot appeared at the top, so, like, yeah. the person didn't get to block it. But you can't do anything out of that, because it's like, oh, I still have to block I mean, the problem is the person was Robo, she could have just L-beamed at any point. <laughs> but, you know... All right, we got a hit. No conversion, though. Definitely want to work on conversions. Ooh. Like the teleports to get out of the corner. Yeah, we're just getting impatient on Mars's end. You, usually you want to be TKing that so that you don't get smacked in the face by a bomb. You probably want to tag here, yep. Usually tagging isn't a good idea against that. Um, few characters are the exception. Bella's tag is really fast, so it's not bad. Um, Double's tag kind of dead zones all the junk. It's not really a good idea, but sometimes it works and it's funny. Um, everyone else you have to be careful because she can normally get a full Lenny Argus into combo. And that's kind of scary. <laughs> Could have alpha countered that. Um, Alright. No conversion either. 
Yeah, I don't think you expect that to work, to be honest. Okay, we got a lot of JHP. A lot of air buttons. Um, as Valentine, your best anti-air is Crouch Medium Punch, by the way. Nobody really uses it, but it is their best anti-air. Shoutouts to Fedora Ninja, the original Valentine. Whatever happened to him? Stop lying. I'm fighting A Ram only now. Yeah, A Ram only. Um, yeah, legit. If you guys haven't seen Fedora play back in the day, he like created. In my opinion, he's the only one that played Val right back in the day. Um, he used a lot of her tools, like you know, crouch, medium punch, stand hard punch is really good because it moves her backwards a little bit before she does the move, which means you can bait a lot of stuff and then get heavy counter hits that you can then do huge combos. His combo routes were actually ridiculous. Um. I recorded a few reps for him while he was just at work. Like, I wonder if this works. And they're freaking awesome. They do so much damage. Bayo tag is full screen unblockable. Yeah, you right. One of my favorite teams was double Bayo because you just put down monster and then raw tag and there's nothing. Either they get hit and you get a full combo or the monster makes it safe. So it's whatever. <laughs> Also makes the incoming put down a monster on their incoming and then tag to Bayo, like actually just an unblockable 50-50. Like unreactable. I still feel like that's one of the hardest things to learn to beat in any fighting game is zoning. Yeah, getting through zoning is one of the first big steps. Um, I'm gonna link the World Gem video. So this video is a video that we end up linking probably once per stream. Um, it's just a really good guide on how to start playing against Peacock. Every Peacock's a little bit different, um, but it's a good starting point for sure. Yeah, I really like the double Bayo more than squiggly Bayo. I'd much rather go into cat heads than I would SBO. Alright. Alright. We have in the not Servan, Varium from Frosty next. Yep. Intermediate. Alright. Alright. I don't need this guide lull. I have only ever played against Peacock in these things. Eh, it happens. Oh, I definitely need this guide. No, I don't need... I can read. I don't need this guide. I don't need this guide. No. I, can, I can't read. Ignore me. I'm in the... <laughs> but yeah, uh, also keep in mind that TK bypass thing is literally what's going to win you that matchup. It's what makes it so hard for her. If you don't know what TK is, there's a glossary. Exclamation mark terms, I think. Maybe it's exclamation mark glossary, I don't know. Um, I'm pretty sure it's exclamation mark terms, but I'll just do it in chat anyway. Um, still trying to figure out what assist I want from Painwheel. I hate all of Painwheel's assists. I usually use Crutch Medium Punch unless I have setups. I have some really gross Parasol and Pinion stuff. I have a video on it. She gets some disgusting things off that. Alright, we got a Parasol, that makes me happy. <laughs> and then it's against Peacock, so I'm sad. I know you were talking, uh, Varianth, in the server today about fighting Peacocks, I think, if I remember right. So now you get to a little bit of this matchup. So, um, Trust. That's not a thing you want to do. Trust. Yep. Trust. He has my team. So one thing you want to keep in mind is that when people are dashing, they can be dash blocking. Um, Emmy Grit's alright in this matchup, but you have to do it after item drop. If you don't do it after item drop, she's just going to drop you and you can't do anything. Um, the ideal way you deal with this matchup is you actually don't end grit and you let yourself get hit. As dumb as that sounds. What you want to do is you want to snipe. After Brass Assist is done, wait for her to throw a bomb. Snipe her during after Stand Hard Bunch, because otherwise she can DP it. Um, have the snipe hit her during a bomb. Have the bomb cancel your snipe recovery when you get hit. And then get a full combo offer from full screen. That's really the optimal way to play this matchup. 
The other optimal way is to just not play this matchup. Um, yeah. But sometimes it's not a you know a choice. And put Eliza as as, a, as an assist because that always works. Uh, it doesn't actually help much in this matchup. You just suck. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what? I didn't say what? anything. Um. Anyway. <laughs> Screw your lies. <laughs> um. Yeah, you just gotta get in, you gotta stay in. Um, super jump, heavy kick helps a lot here, because you just kinda go over everything. But again, it has to be after item drop, because item drop hex everything over. Um, you also kinda wanna be tagging Ban. You have enough time to jab. There you go. Now you get a combo. Oh, you didn't dash fast enough, that sucks. Um, she could've DP'd there after the super flash, because she was still in stay and hard punch. So that's something to keep in mind, Frosty. Um, you can always DP after Sand Hard Punch. That was a risky as heck A train. So I'm gonna say something I swear I say to every band on this thing. No offense to you, it's just a really, really common band habit. Uh, and that's to play rock, paper, scissors with your charge moves. Um, saying like, brass beats buttons, A train beats jump, and you just kind of throw them out and hope that they do what you want them to do. It's definitely not a thing you want to be doing on band because if you get the read wrong, you lose your character. I can't say anything because I do that. I know. <laughs> That's actually not safe, but that was an interesting wake up. Doesn't Sniper still hit if you don't also throw an assist? Wait, doesn't Sniper still hit if you don't also throw an assist for the Sniper to hit? I don't know what that means, but the way Sniper works is that it'll hang around for a stupid long time to wait for you to become vulnerable for it to hit you. If you throw out an assist, sometimes it'll happy birthday. If you, it, sometimes it'll just hit you anyway and not care about the assist. Brass armors it, which is why you have to do it after brass. Um, you can... If you mean DPing after the hard punch, um, you can actually DP into Lenny and then DHC, and Parasol just dies, which is why I said. Yeah, if you can do it with an assist too, but you can also just DHC. Um, I know Chuck's team, which has... Peacock Band. You can do Lenny SSJ and then Giant Step, and then the Lenny explodes and you get a full combo with Band. Um, it's kind of cool looking. You have to be smart about it. Eyes of Argus. I think that's how she says it, but okay. Eyes of Argus. Eyes of Argus. <laughs> Let's just Thanks give Pamela Argus. an air DP. Yeah, you're right. How about an air DP that OS is to keep itself safe? That's what she needs. <laughs> She's dead. DHA. Yep. Medic. Ice colors instead of the gumball colors. Am I not behind on my color reference? What's this say? That's heckin' hot. Please give. She has, to be honest. <laughs> give pain mill air nails. Uh, one, okay, so Swagger's free as heck. But. <laughs> <laughs> one of the things he does that I really like is um, his hatred install zoning. is really cool. Hello. Lambda. Lambda? What's going on? So something you definitely want to get out of the habit of really early on um, is doing your full block string on block. So Parasol's buttons are all minus except for shot, which is plus, which means if you're doing the full block string, it means you're also committing to shot, right? Um, because you want to keep yourself safe. It's really, really easy to push block you during the stand hard punch or something, and then just punish you while you're doing the shot. Um, so that full string is not something you want to be doing. Ideally, you hit confirm with the crouch medium kick. So you do crouch light, crouch medium. That's where you see if it hits and where you decide to go from there. Um, because it's very hard to punish you after the crouch medium kick from full screen. I mean, super ideally, you just confirm from the crouch light kick, but 
I don't know how possible that is. I've never heard that line before. That's definitely not possible. What's not possible? I don't know. JP says he reacts to grabs. I don't believe JP. him. He's lying to me. But <laughs> he says he does. I'm dropping I think it's, crouch. I think uh, it's, it's less about what you're dropping and more about when I've seen you do it on block. Like when the crouch medium kick doesn't hit. Like I get that drop combos happen. Like they always happen. But... Stand like kicks sure times two is not hard to confirm off of. You have a million years to confirm off that. I'm sure JP does react slightly. Mm -hmm. Not 100%. It's not consistent, though. Mmm, yourself. <laughs> I'm surprised I didn't catch Peacock. <laughs> Need to sit like DHC there. Yeah. It's just to be safe. <laughs> I can react to grabs when I'm fully committed to checking it. I mean, I guess, but no one 100% of the time is like, he's gonna grab, he's gonna grab, he's gonna grab, he's gonna grab. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody hacking grabs in this game anyway, it sucks. <laughs> you, th you say that. Nobody good in this game grabs. <laughs> oh well, heck you. <laughs> uh, Servon 42 versus an open lobby. Shall I fight him? <laughs> I mean, if you want, I guess. Yeah. The connection still makes me. Yeah. <laughs> I grab well, mo I, I kind of take pleasure stance on grabs, where if you're grabbing, it's because they're blocking. And if they're blocking, that means they're only blocking one way, right? <laughs> so, like, if they're blocking low, and you want to grab instead to kind of do the safe option, you get a really, really scaled reward. Um, oh, it's EU. Perfect, Sam. Um, Perfect. Whereas if you go overhead instead, like, if you make the read right, you get such a bigger reward. Like, And it's not even that big of a deal if it's blocked, unless you're doing some kind of unsafe thing. I don't know. I think grabs suck. Unless they're air grabs. Air grabs are fine. Because you can mix between air grabs and burst bait. Alright. Val Squiggly versus some nerd. Oh, heck you. <laughs> Alright, we're baiting already. Somebody's seen Sam play. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this is the person that was, um, Nephros' student. The, the Reseda cycle continues. Oh, no. I recognize this. Puko's grabs are good. Her ground grabs, though? I'd rather oh. just command grab, really. Like, I can't think of a situation where I'd rather ground grab over command grab. Other than maybe in the corner, but... It's not like Puko never has a meter. So here Sam's just going to get bypassed in a second. I can already tell you it's going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> He's just, just TK bypass is on its way. If it's not Servon, you need to TK bypass. We're going to need you to TK bypass. <laughs> command, yeah, command grabs are fine. I think command grabs are good. But, like, the standard ground, light punch, light kick grab, I think those are terrible. <laughs> that wasn't real. But Sam wasn't pushing nothing, so heck it. Mix. No. Oh, Mix. I've not seen that one before. Sam's pushing grab. 
Most characters that aren't Fukua have usable highs, so you don't really need to go for grab. But Fukua has command grab. Like, if you're going for the grab reset on Fukuo, you're probably doing command grab. I think doubles ground grab suck too. Yeah, I'd rather go left rights. Do you have an item set? You're heckin' nuts not, uh... <laughs> make, not dropping that in between the Argus beams, by the way. Hey, 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 hey. You're heckin' nuts. Hey, 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 listen, listen. <laughs> I'm not the one getting judged here. Yeah, you <laughs> are. You're in Get Great. Don't tell me. Don't tell me how to. You're play. in Get Great now. This is literally the point of Get Great. <laughs> Fuku's command grab leads to booty follow ups. But, but, but so does their normal grab. <laughs> Unless you're in the corner, you're spending BFF, right? And if you're in the corner, I've seen... I know, like, JP does more left rights than grab resets in the corner. Yeah, double scary. Giant toe step. Just does the A-train. Heck it. All right, we're doing the whole thing. We're getting hit with jump hard kick because we got spacing, and we also got lag. A little bit of lag. All right, we're just hitting giant step out of resets. Cause heck, it, why wouldn't we hit giant step out of resets? That's my favorite <laughs> reversal button. You know those invuln frames on giant step? <laughs> you have to spend a meter to get a fifty-five percent skilled combo. Yeah, but so does this. This applies to both grabs. Uh, that didn't work. Get a full combo off this. That's not a combo. You gotta learn that combo follow up. Alright. Then we just gotta get through this. I wanna see a raw tag that. Alright. <laughs> we just super Smash Brothers and tripped full screen and then got punished for it. <laughs> Next. Alright, I'm assuming you were hitting grab. Um, take overhead. That's death. Pretty sure Kenji's saying that command grabs are also bad. I mean, they're not as good as overheads, but she doesn't have overheads, so you just kind of got to hold that, you know? I think the characters that have command grabs, they're usually good, unless you're Valentine. I don't know why Valentine has a command grab at all. Beowulf is kind of poop too. I guess Beowulf's grabs are good, but he gets like things off him. Alright, push block is for the week. We don't push block in this house. Um. <laughs> Fuzzies. Alright, A-Train plus the thing gets punished because you're minus. A-Train again. <laughs> air-to-air. Air. Val's air-to-airs are really good. Ninja Flippy. Squig, this has got a command grab in my heart. I mean... Really would like to see Servon do some TK bypasses. I'm, I'm just going to pretend like these bypasses are supposed to be TK. I like the alpha counter. Definitely have to do something about this, though. Alright, we got hit. Still no conversions for Sam. That's uh, desperate. Crouch like kicking the Lenny, you know. <laughs> Still sitting on four bars. Maybe you want to throw out that. Yeah, there we go. Yep. Yeah. Okay, DP the Lenny. Just, just to, just to really prove a point. Just DP the Lenny. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's why Lenny's so good. It eats the TK bypass. That's the squad. Do you see that squad finish? <laughs> I didn't know it at the bypass. Oh. <laughs> I thought you did that on purpose and I was going to be like no, super proud and then like I don't play this game I don't touch this game thought you totally was doing it on purpose I didn't know it had the bypass I, you know what I kept saying Lenny's really really good because it's like a shield for you yeah I know it's a shield it's like a shield like, for you I thought, I thought bypass was like just a full line of damage no I'm pretty sure it only hits once alright is that crank? I've never seen that card before. I don't have real pants on, I just realized. You'll be fine. I don't think Crank will mind. Ninja Flippy. Wow, we just do it. Would have been safe, I guess. But wow, we're dropping that. Oh, that is not a thing you want to be doing. I'm just going to assume that was a messed up stanza. And we're doing this thing, because that's the one vortex we know. <laughs> <laughs> and now we're going to do JLK. Oh, wait, wait, that's a second vortex. That's the same thing as the first one. <laughs> and without the h -ray. We don't need that. <laughs> Skullgirls get pants? Nah, heck that. You know what, I'm sorry, Servon. Because <laughs> the problem with me playing and Penny commentating is you're not going to get any commentary for you. I mean, there's not a lot of commentary. Servon's playing solid outside of not getting past Peacock zoning. Um, and I've kind of already said my piece on that, where you need to do a lot more TK bypasses. Yeah, but even then, if she was playing, like, badly, you'd be still commentating on me because you like to wind me up. <laughs> I mean, that's like half the fun, yeah. <laughs> oh, whoa. Didn't make him watch? Eh, you skip the cutscene to make them, uh... You know, it's the lore. Skip the lore. Skip the lore. Oh, it is raining like heck out there. Frank's driving in that. It feels bad. Does anyone know how large the air parry window is? Probably about as large as Big Man, because he's the one parrying it. Da -da 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 -da. Stop that. Cutscene allows your assist to heal 50 extra AP, HP. Um, yeah, also, let's see. Wow, you're nuts! Alright, if I'm going to teach you kids a lesson today, it's not to do up back air grab out of a vortex. <laughs> That loses to burst baits, lows, jabs, frickin' everything under the sun. Fuzzies, cause you're big man. I like this use of fuzzies. That's what JP said. I mean, I don't know what the exact numbers are, but it sounds right. It definitely allows your assist to heal more. Oh, we got green vial. That's the Street Fighter Vial. No, that's the Hitstone Vial. I wanted it to be Street Fighter Vial. Alright. Okay, we got a Lenny. We're not setting out a Band Assist, so this should be pretty free to just bypass in. Or just EKG into SBO and make him block. There it is. Uh, that's not exactly what I meant. I more meant EKG to his face, but you know. Orange is Street Fighter V vial, yeah. Orange is the guest controller. Alright. We're having a little bit of trouble getting past just a zoning pattern. So the biggest thing here is that it, this is. There it is! Never mind, I'm content. Sam grabbed there again. Um, um, here's some advice to Sam. Your opponent hasn't grabbed you once all set ever. Why are you grabbing? Because <laughs> I like grabbing. But you're getting hit. <laughs> that was convertible. Uh -huh. No, can't do that with item drop still up. Just grabs again, because I can't. Why not? 
Now you're understanding. <laughs> Did it! <laughs> so my advice to Sam is um stick to cross tag. <laughs> <laughs> All right, GG's though. Um, for real though, the real real talk advice. Um, I, Sam's heard me talk to him a million times, so I'm not going to say anything about that. I think he's just stopped caring at this point. I've stopped caring about the yeah. ages ago. Yeah. Um, but for Servon, you've seen your opponent was grabbing out of everything, so you definitely want to be burst baiting a lot more. Um, I don't think I saw burst bait, actually. Um, you definitely want to look on how to get past Peacock Zoning. The good thing about the way Sam was doing it is Sam was just doing a pattern. Um, which means you can actually set a peacock bot to do that pattern over and over and then work on it until you get through it. Um, which is a thing. Um, definitely want to be working on TK bypasses. Another way you can do it is just with uh, backdash bypass, because backdash puts you in the air. Um, that'll also get you through all the junk, even though it's a little bit slower. Um, you don't want to do it after item drop, though. And without Lenny being up. A little bit conditional, but hey, peacock's only got 5 meter, right? Um, eh, GG. Next match is the last match of the night. Psy Noon versus Orbital Beef. So, so is the beef like orbital as in like orbits around the earth or what's, what's the deal with that? Orbits around my mouth. Oh man. <laughs> That's spicy. <laughs> Dude, spicy beef is the greatest thing in the world. I know it's... I, I know TK Bypass, but I had no room to use it. When Peacock doesn't have an assist, any time after item drop is the time to use it. There's no... There's a giant gap after she uses item drop. I don't know if that... That's not Craig's car. Whose car is that? What? Oh, that's my mom's car. Never mind. It's, it's Dave's car. Who the flip is Dave? I don't know. Are you Dave? I'm Dave. Why are you in my driveway? I don't know. It's I don't raining drive. out there. Come back in. <laughs> <laughs> I like the rain. I mean, it's like freaking hail and looking. Hail is, hail is better. Actually, I hate the rain because it triggers my OCD heavily. <laughs> I also hate the rain. But, but it's nice to listen to. Heck I bad. can't. I can't walk in it. Like, so if I was sitting in the car and it was raining. I'd need someone to come out and, like, help me across. See, I'm the opposite. I could walk in the rain as long as it was just rain. Um, but listening to it would drive me insane. Mm, no, I love listening to it. It's so relaxing to me. Alright, we got a fortune. We got another peacock, because everybody in this freaking game plays peacock now. <laughs> so many peacocks. Okay, we got a little bit of a pattern. Okay, head is off. Head off versus Peacock is interesting because both L and M George um, aren't a thing anymore that you have to deal with. They'll still do damage, but they won't hit you. Um, but it also means you're taking a lot more damage than if you were just blocking. I feel like we don't know what we're doing with Headless. <laughs> yeah, Head's back on. Jab on Wake Up. Fortune's Jab is really strong because it's uh, tied for fastest jab in the game. And it's got the biggest range of those two jabs, so it's probably definitely the best jab in the game. Um, that being said, it's not a thing you want to use outside of pressure. Wake up jab is really, really bad. Especially when they're not close enough for the jab to hit. I'm sensing there's going to be a dog barking soon, and I don't know why. Bork. I'm a dog now. There you go. There you go, I was right. Do you see Olivia's message? I'm a dog now. Yeah. Yeah, you're a dog now. <laughs> oh, there's a bork. That's a really loud bork. Alright. Um, Sai Noon, I also recommend you look at the uh, World Gem video. It was linked in the Discord earlier. It was also linked on the stream earlier. If you want me to repost it, I can. Um, if your stream's not on, DM me. Hi, I'm Penny. I'll send it to you. Or you can just Google World Gem Peacock and it's the first one. 
That's really the biggest thing I can say right now. Definitely want to be working on our confirms. Peacock fell out of that a long time ago. Oh, raw tag. So, uh, when you're at 1 HP, raw tag actually sucks a lot. Um, a lot later on, people start expecting it and start baiting it. Um, there is not a single raw tag that's safe in this game. Um, that being said, uh, another, because you have double in the back, another thing you can do is something like wake up Lenny or wake up Argus, um, which don't have invuln frames. Lenny might have like one, I don't know. Um, and then DHC that into cat heads or a car or a monster or something to get out. It's not, still not very good on wake up, um, unless during the super flash you saw they push a button that can't be cancelled into something invuln, and then car can be decent. Um, but... When it is enough invuln. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. It, you definitely want to be DHCing out over raw tagging, though. It, it'll be a lot safer. And a lot more rewarding, too, because if they're baiting something and then you wake up Lenny into cat heads, they literally just have to hold all of the cat heads. It's so much better than raw tag and get killed. Cat slide is punishable. I didn't know if headless was punishable or not. I don't know headless frame data. I don't know if it differs at all. Alright, we're pushing a lot of buns. The only headless I know is. Um... Sunset. I've seen a lot of headlesses. Um, Sunsets, I think, is low key one of the better ones. Catheads is so. Catheads is disgusting. Why is catheads two meter? Who decided that? Because like Devil's never really using it on point. Freaking just DHC into it for one bar. <laughs> Sampai is headless. Yeah, there's a lot of headlesses, but wow, you DHC there. That's not safe. We're not gonna get the punish though. Who else was headless? Is? Uh, Physics was headless, if I remember right. Um, was Nature headless? He might have been. Fenster? I've never seen headless Fenster's headlesses. I've never even I seen Fenster play Fortune. Yeah, I've only seen Fenster ever play Parasol. <laughs> no, his trio is Parasol, Eliza Band. Mm. Um, and I've seen his Robo, but I've never seen his Fortune. Also, Bobbert, I think that's exactly why it's too, like... It's 2 meter. I think the whole intention of it was to be a DHC super. It's so... It should have been 3 bars, and then 2 bars on DHC. It's... it's like, double's already broken if you take away cat heads. Why does she need cat heads too? Because double's the god of this game. It's all good. More like single... What? Wait, what? <laughs> okay. Hold on. <laughs> If you play solo double, do you play a single? Hey, right, I'm gone. <laughs> See ya, guys. Good stream. And that was the stream, <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah, Cathead used to be one meter back in the day. I didn't play that. I started playing after Beowulf. The day after I started playing, the Beowulf DLC would stop being free. Um... So I'm actually, I guess, relatively new, like, time... I Actually, I guess that was, like, two years ago, wasn't it? I don't know. He had a cool peacock squiggly silver cord assist. I mean, yeah. I kind of do the same. Like, I'd say that I play Parasol Liza, but I can play everyone. I've had gimmicky teams. My favorite being Double Squiggly. That was fun. Also Peacock Eliza. That one's fun. Butcher's Assist is so fun on Peacock. Um, so in terms of things I can say here, um, Psy Noon, there's not too, too much I can say outside of fundamentals. Like, you want to make sure that if you're pushing a button, that they're getting hit by it before you push more buttons, or that you're using it to pressure. Um, you don't want to be pushing a lot of buttons on with. Um, outside of specific headless things, I don't have much I can say. That's something you would definitely want to at Sunset for, because Sunset's really good. Um, in terms of Ordable Beef, I think I've said a lot already when you were in that one match earlier. Silver Cord plus TP behind you. Swift Fox does that with Lock and Load a lot. It's kind of disgusting. It's so much damage with Lock and Load, too. 
Peacock Lock and Load literally gets like freaking 15k on a counter hit. It's really gross. Kind of specific counter hits, like car, but you know, it's still gross. Last match, um, Crank's not here yet, so maybe we'll open lobby. I don't know if I actually feel like playing Skullgirls. You don't need to play Skullgirls, it's bad for your health, I've heard. Yeah, right. I've done studies on it. Every time I play it, I get angry. So it must be bad for your health. More like your bed. <laughs> that was me. <laughs> what am I not, though? Tree. <laughs> I'm not mean, I'm just Sunde. Sundere. Soon. Soon. Wow. Isn't that me? A wow, that crap. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Doesn't Sundar literally mean, uh, mean, mean cute or something like that? I don't know. Not the literal definition. I don't know what the literal. Well, you think I'm a weeb? Yes. <laughs> I am. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay, that's definitely a habit you want to get out of raw tagging when you're on low health. That drop. I forgot the light punch. Okay. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Uh, but okay, the heads gonna make that. We didn't punish. We don't need to punish. Oh, cat heads. All right. Okay. All right. Good talk. Well, thanks everyone for coming to uh, Skullgirls. Get great. Um, don't have too much advice there. Um, sign in again. You want to add sunset for sure. She knows what she's talking about when it comes to headless. Um, Orbital, I kind of already told you things. Um, other than that, uh, thanks for coming out. Every Wednesday, we have a tournament thingy that you can sign up for and play. It's not like this where we give advice, but sometimes, you know, we just do it anyway, because heck it. This is what we know and love. Um, yeah, usually it's a good old tournament. Uh, next week, we're doing this again. Same, same place. I'm not going to say same time, because God, we suck at being on time. Um, it's, it's, it's a it's a time that's similar to the time that around 4 p.m. ish, <laughs> give or take, like two two days. Um, <laughs> Welcome to Skull Girls Be Great every Monday. Um, other fun things: if you join our Discord by typing exclamation mark Discord, somebody else do it, please, because I'm lazy. Um, there's a, a bunch of people on there. There's a looking for games channel. It's pretty active. We can go in there, find some matches. Um, anyone with a green name as a host. Um, Usually the hosts are down to play and give some advice. I know me and JP in particular really like having sets with people and then writing out, like, heckin' essays and notepad or whatever and sending them. Um, it's fun as heck, yo. I enjoy that. Um, don't be afraid to reach out to me if you want that. I'll totally do it. Um, uh, VOD is available right now, actually. Yeah, VOD would be... If you click... After the stream's off or just right now, I'm pretty sure, if you click videos, the most recent one will be there and you can watch through it. Um... Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. B great is eight PM EST. Whatever time that is in other people's times, I don't care. It's eight PM EST. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. That I don't know. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> so um Yeah. So Abby Abby, do you have anything to say? All right. Bye. That was Abby. That's our mascot. Oh my goodness! What happened outside? Is that an over? Dude, there's like six rainbows. Holy heck! <laughs> All right, I'll tell you the story after the stream. Nobody else gets to hear the stories of the six rainbows. Okay. This is a host exclusive story. Host exclusives. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's pretty gay. That's the best part. <laughs> Is the stream off? No. Oh. Okay, we're gonna end the stream. Bye. <laughs> Is it over? <laughs> <laughs>
No. Okay, bye. <laughs> this joke sucks. <laughs>